Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know y'all like, girl, we ain't seen no budgeting videos. You ain't never bag your Louie. What's, what's going on? I, I always do that. I always look at the wrong spot, my bad. So, a lot of things has, have been happening. Um, I'm definitely going to do a separate video just about separate things in their own state. Like, it's so much that I've gone through. There's no way that I can sit and make it one video. So, just to start off, let me say this. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. My divorce is final. <laughs> I gotta, like, get some balloons, confetti, something coming down when I say that. I'm gonna figure it out. But I'm so excited about that. Um, I really, I hate, well, I don't want to use the word hate. It's just, stop, be quiet. It's a funny feeling when I say, oh, I'm going through a divorce. And people are like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. As if I've lost something. I ain't lost nothing. This is a game for me. <laughs> this is the second time I filed for the divorce. I initiated this process. This is what I wanted. So there's no loss. No need to apologize as if I'm hurting behind it. I'm not. I'm happy. I'm ecstatic. I couldn't wait. It was like Christmas. Oh, just super exciting. But, um, oh, and I'm having a party. <laughs> Figured I'd add that in there. I am throwing myself a divorce party. And it's not to celebrate the divorce. It's to celebrate the new beginnings for me, the new chapters for me. I gave that person 14 long, toxic, unhealthy, mind boggling years of my life. I feel free. I feel so free to no longer have that weight, that, that nasty gray cloud over me i'm free to live my life and allow god to bless me with the real man i'm supposed to be with where you at i will say i'm ready i'm not ready but i know god has that in my plans i know god has that in my plans we had to get this up out of there so what you really is entitled to having and what you really should be enjoying can come on in your life I'm excited about that. So excited. So, what did I want to tell y'all? Just where I've been at, I've been going through a divorce. I've been trying to figure out um, <laughs> financial things. I wouldn't say it's a burden. It's just a, a extra stress. So, I will be back onto my budgeting videos starting in September. So, stay tuned. They're coming. A lot, a lot of changes. Girl, a lot, a lot of more debt. A lot, a lot of more debt. But just like God carried me through before, he will carry me through it again. So I don't even feel stress about it. I do want to look for another job just so I can have extra money. Girl, just, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Kids start school in September. So excited about that. Both my babies will be out of my house. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Because it's been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, my son, he's been killing it in football. So excited for him. We've both been in therapy heavy. Um, so just a lot. Just getting myself back into the groove of Jasmine. That's what I've been doing. Girl, a lot of journaling. I picked up this new journal. The other two is somewhere else. Um, did it on me? Can't see. Who was this by? Kathy. No, what is his name? What is his name? Case Kenny. I have all three of his books. Love these little journal journaling books. Girl, just all type of stuff. Girl, <laughs> all type of stuff. Um. What else I've been doing? Taking care of the dog, taking care of the house. I had to refinance the house, so that process is wrap, wrapping up. So I'm excited about that. I got to keep the home in the divorce. 
um, which was a good thing. I would say I didn't care either way, but I did because we literally just moved a year ago. So I definitely didn't want to have to pack up my kids and relocate them. So I'm happy I got to keep it, but that came with a lot, a lot more expenses. Um, paying a refinance, I had to pay for that twice. That's a whole story in itself, which maybe I'll just do a separate video on my pain points through the divorce. I understand divorces aren't easy, but this was drawn out for absolutely no reason. It was just, girl. But I just wanted to do this video to catch y'all up. To let y'all know I'm alive, breathing, and well. Mentally, I'm all right. During this whole divorce process, though, I've literally had suicidal thoughts. Not ashamed to say it. <laughs> had uh, anxiety through the roof. Not ashamed to say it. Uh, moody. Like mood swings. Also, I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm human. I go through emotions in life just like everybody else. Um, it was extremely hard to go through this process and not have my mom or my grandparents because they were my backbone. That's who I could rely on. I'm an only child, so I don't have siblings. I don't know my father, so I don't have another side of the family. That side of the family has all passed on. My mother's side of the family has all passed on, so. Why no? All right, let me get you a tissue. Hold on. I'm just gonna edit that out. Go ahead. Go, go. I'm done in a second. Go ahead. Okay, and I know y'all be wanting to see Jacoby. I'm gonna get her together so we can be camera ready. Because, girl, I'm halfway camera ready. But, anywho. Anywho, what was I saying? Brandy Hutch. Um, yeah, mommy. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Why she thought I needed her dirty tissue? It's beyond me. Beyond me. Oh. Nah. What? I forgot. I lost track of my... Lost track of my thought. Oh, remember I told y'all... Well, I saw my unboxing for the... Uh, Michael... I put the Michael Gores. For the Louis Vuitton Turtle Dove. I went ahead and bought it in black as well. I got a problem. I got a problem, but... I'm not buying nothing else. I'm not buying anything else. But uh, why did I just tell y'all that? Maybe because that was the last video y'all have seen of me? Girl, I don't know. But now at this point, I feel like I'm just rambling. But what was I saying? That I'm human, not ashamed of none of the... Da, 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 da. <laughs> that I'm human and I'm not ashamed of none of the feelings or emotions that I've gone through. Um... That's life. My therapist actually had to remind me that the reactions that I have to things are completely normal under the circumstances that I'm under. If I told y'all everything that I've had to endure in a short amount of time, y'all probably would have a panic attack for me. But I keep getting closer and closer to God through everything that I experienced and that Brownie would you hush they gonna hear you whining what do you want no way um it brings me closer and closer to God and that uh it brings me a, a sense of comfort and peace I actually had a talk with myself last night because I talk to myself all the time also not ashamed to say that all the time uh, it, it was funny though. My son came into my room last night and he was like, wow, I ain't seen you cry in a long time. That's good. I'm glad you're feeling better. And I was like, dang. Shots fired. Pew, pew. But I completely under, understood what he was saying because for months, that's all my kids saw me do was cry because it was a lot going on a lot of stress a lot of a lot of heartache a lot of emptiness like just reflecting i never ever ever signed up to be a single parent 
I never ever got married with the intentions on getting a divorce. Like I didn't ask for this to be my life. This is not the predicament that I was like, yeah, this what I'm gonna do in my thirties. Like I did, I did not sign up for that. But it, it just made me remember that God carried me through every single step. And he, and like, okay, another sidebar, another just side thought. A friend of mine told me a few months ago, maybe like four or five months ago, like you, um, you don't look like what you've been through and that's a good thing. And it didn't click for me then when he said it. Like, what you mean? Cause you know what I didn't been through, but now I get it. You know how some things happen to certain people in their life and they allow depression to sink in. They allow the little demons to, to run their mind and then you, they don't have any energy to do anything. Then you see them drinking all the time. Then they don't report to work. Then they funky, don't want to get out of bed. Like you see them go through something and not know how to get themselves out of it. And I had to tell myself, but God, like... You very seriously do not look like what you've been through. You get out, show out at your son gang. He know you there loving and supporting him. You set up all the doctor appointments, take to all the doctor appointments, set up all the dentist appointments, get to work on time, keep that same energy. I do games at work all the time. Like I am that same energetic, bubbly person in spite of the things that are going through my mind every day in spite of the challenges that come my way every single day it is always something like in spite of that nobody would ever look at me would ever interact with me and be like oh she had a nasty attitude or oh she ain't actually she ain't want to talk or oh like i saw her run to the bathroom crying. like no you don't see that i don't act like that in my house different story like i I cry because where else am I going to express myself, you know? Girl, and I did, and therapy. I think this was the first time. I've been going to therapy for a year now. And this was the first time, almost a year. I started in March. No, I, no, I didn't. I started in February. Don't matter. Girl, I be saying, it don't even matter. Okay, anyway, close to a year now. Um, I've been in therapy consistently. And, um... Oh here recently I had a whole breakdown in the therapist's office and she was just like why are you carrying that weight why are you carrying that burden and those emotions and those feelings for something you didn't do Brownie I wish you'd leave me alone I really do y'all about to kick you out so anywho anywho future plans definitely gonna do a debt confession video because now I have oh my god so much more debt definitely going to do um my regular budgeting videos showing y'all my expenses showing y'all what I'm saving for sinking funds all of that um I want to start a podcast and I've started a new YouTube channel it's called beware of the narc and that's where I discuss the things that I've endured in my narcissistic relationship. Now, my soon-to-be ex-husband is final, but a judge just hasn't signed off yet. And I've gotten that paperwork back where I can officially change my name. But we've both signed off on our divorce decree, so he is still technically my husband. Um, but anywho, my soon-to-be ex-husband has not been clinically diagnosed with being a narcissist, but from my experience with him and his family, if he's not a narcissist, he definitely has all of the traits uh, along with his mother. Um, they're a little, they're a little different. And I didn't realize how Toxic people can ruin your life. 
ruin your self-esteem. They ruin your reputation because they make up lies and stories about you that are untrue. Uh, they want you to have low self-esteem about yourself. They want to drag you down in the mud. They want you to they want to abuse you until you react to the abuse and then claim you as the abuser. It it's a lot, but I'm so so very thankful to be out of that situation, out of that uh grasp. I don't know, like you know how if your mom was toxic or narcissistic when you were a child you had no choice but to endure it because that's your mom you have to live with her where else are you going to go like you just have to deal and that's how i felt i felt stuck in an unhealthy relationship that i couldn't free myself from oh so i thought but when i lost my mom and both my grandparents that was my light bulb like sis this man don't love you this man disrespects you this man drag you every chance he get this man cheat on you every chance he get and baby i ain't gonna like sit up here and like boast myself but i'm not an unattractive young lady um i don't have like a bad tendencies you know like i can get me a somebody like don't I don't understand why I accepted that for so long, but I'm so woke you can't put me back to sleep. I was in the second place. Like I am the prize. Like what are we talking about? I'm confused. But um uh, yeah. It was a lot. But anywho, slide on over to that channel if you feel like it. I'll definitely be uploading more videos there. And again, working on a podcast. Um, I definitely just want people to know that you can get through anything. Anything. Hear me when I tell you. You can get through anything. I got story after story after story after story. Where m most people will be like, oh, I would have been gave up. I would have did. I would have did. I would have did. During this process, I literally thought about checking myself into a psychiatric ward. Like, very seriously thought about it. Because it was just overwhelming. I was abused physically, emotionally, mentally. And for years, over a decade, 14 years of abuse constantly, day to day, every day. And then the last five years was marriage. And then within those five years, lost my mom and my grandparents. Then had to fight for my kids. <laughs> like, hello. Like, my brain can only take so much. But I say all I have to say, I am a testament. I am a 32-year-old black African-American woman, single mother of two, fur mom of one, and I'm here, baby. Okay? I just want y'all to know. You're going to have your days. And we're going to get up and keep on going. But all right, I'm y'all friend. That's what I want y'all to know. Y'all have a friend in me. And Kobe just walked back in, so we about to wrap this video on up. <laughs> she pointed to her nose. They like, see the snot? Get the snot. <sighs> Girl. That's another thing, too. Like... Colds, they can't see you, baby. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's the Kobe, and this is Brownie. Don't is don't mind her hair. We gonna take your. Don't mind it. Go ahead. What you got to tell me, baby? You mind? Yeah, look right here. Okay. No, just look right there. Go ahead, talk. Say what you gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair, so it's my hair. Okay. It's a part of me, right? So I'm talking to you. Hey y'all. Yeah. Oh, Jay Mir can't come in because he ain't got on no shirt. I don't got on no shirt. But, but he said hey. Hey y'all. I'm hey, gonna be in the next video, okay? He is. Alright, come on now. Alright, let me wrap this up because it's getting y'all long. Um I'm definitely gonna do Kobe little intro. Yeah, I'm gonna intro. Video. For sure. Okay? First, okay, okay.
and um, Jay Mir, I'm gonna start helping him, uh, helping him. I'm gonna start having him help me stuff my cash envelopes. Maybe okay. go over the budget, I don't know, but he's 10 going on 11. And I think this me. is a good time to introduce him to um, budget. Welcome Hello. Welcome I spent too much money on these kids. <laughs> All right. We out of here, y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Bye, -bye.